It's been reported that drug dealers combined are making $20 million a year from the Kensington and Allegheny drug area. The government funded $300,000 to clean it up and take drug dealers off the streets, and it still looks horrible, with junkies standing around rocking back and forth and homeless people sleeping everywhere. Thousands of families are ruined due to drugs. Parents aren't coming home to children. They're spending finances on drugs, leaving homes with nothing, forcing them to do anything for money. Kids are born with birth defects. Kids are forced to live an unfair life. Meanwhile, thousands of families are getting saved. Instead of working a nine to five that pays four sixty five a week after the taxes, young people can pick up a drug shift, making fifteen hundred dollars a week tax free. Giving their family access to luxurious lifestyle, this seems to give you more respect than a guy that's getting it the right way, barely making it. See, in America, you have to go to school. You have to have a license to be a drug dealer so you can sell it out of a Rite Aid or a CVS. Drugs in the community destroy thousands of households, but what about the IRS? What about the collections? We all go through financial struggles. Do they give us a break? No, they just hit your credit score. So now you can't get approved for a house or apartment, so you're left homeless. Taxes could go up every year on your home, and if you don't pay that, you're homeless. Just like what Omar said on the wire, I got the gun, you got the briefcase. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe. Hit the thumbs up or hit the thumbs down. And thanks for watching. I'm out.